I wanted to post an update on my 3D printed indoor beehives. I posted a video about a month ago telling you that I was afraid that something had happened to my queen. And I think my suspicions have been confirmed. My bees have continued to, to die and reduce in numbers since then. I've only got about a handful left in the hive. This frame here, they never built anything in it. This one here has a good bit of honey in it. And I think this one is mainly just sugar water. So once the bees have all died off, I plan on taking the hives down and I'm going to make a video of, of that and showing you how I get the, the honey out of it. I had several people ask how I would be able to get the honey out of the hives if I decided to. My plan was to use my flow hive and extract the honey from the flow hive but they never built into there because I think about the time I installed that was about the time that the the queen died and so once the queen died they just stopped doing anything and they've just um, numbers have just reduced over time so I'm gonna try again next year I've got a few ideas of how I want to change things around and rearrange the the sails on the wall where the bees can come and go a lot easier uh, so I'll keep you posted if you want to see how all that turns out just uh, subscribe and you'll be notified when I post new videos I decided to show you my koi pond unlike my beehives my koi pond is doing very well uh, I have a net around it to keep uh, birds and other predators out we have a lot of blue herring around here that uh, that would get in here and, and try to eat the fish so we, we have it closed off I've had these koi for about three or four years now. I have a lot of plants here at the back of it to help kind of keep the water clear. It's got some pretty purple blooms on it. This is called pickle rush. And my water looks is in very good condition. It's very clear. Some of my biggest koi are about 20 inches long. A lot of times people have problems with their uh, koi eating their lily pads, but so far I've done pretty good with being able to keep my lily pads healthy without the koi eating them. I've got about 16 koi in here. They like to hide under the lily pads kind of hard to see them sometimes. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video and thanks for watching.